Hello and welcome back to Exapunks. Today we're going to work on desktop 7R288VN with the objective being to escape the computer simulation once and for all. So that sounds to me, and especially with the way this task board is spaced out, it looks like this is going to be the finale. And it is from Moss, which is us. So I do very much think that we are finished once we finish this puzzle. And that is exciting because, uh, as you saw in the last episode, it has been a long time coming. Well, this is something. I can see an open network that's... I can't even tell how big. Imagine all the computers in the world were hooked up to each other, and you would start to get an idea of the size. No way to know just how big until we explore, though. Uh, is that the plan? More or less. Why? Do you think it could be dangerous? Um, dangerous for them, maybe. Ha ha ha. That's the spirit. Okay. So, packetize and transmit the target data, file 301, to the internet so that it is uploaded to whereaswhereas.ru. A packet of the file is, consists of a source IP address from ADDR. Destination IP address from 201. Where's that? Here. Okay. Check some of the packet's data between 1 and 30 values. The target data should be split into multiple packets. So, the, so no packet except for the last contains fewer than 30 data values. Okay. To calculate a packet checksum, add the data values together, considering each digit separately, wrapping back to zero whenever it's time. Then flip the sign. For example, the checksum of this is that? Uh-huh. So, hold the fucking phone. So we do the, the first digit, so 7 plus 7 plus 1 is 15, and then we've got 9, 4, and 0, which is Five zero zero should be five, and then we got three one two, which is six. So we're not carrying over anything. Okay, that makes it easy. Um, I might need to pull out the zines, which are right here, thankfully, and remember how to do it, it's it's like DST from from Shenzhen. A specific digit. Uh, it's 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 called Swizz in this one, I think so. Swizz sounds correct. Where is that? That's C boy. That's all the normal instructions. So probably the other scene. Let me see if we have Swizz instructions here anywhere. The fun thing is, I have a comment on one of the videos that I explained how Swizz worked to somebody who was watching the video, and they're like, oh, I can never figure this out. But, yeah, that was 100 days ago, so, uh, more than 100 days ago, honestly. And, I've forgotten myself how Swizz works, and I don't see... I don't see the Swizz instructions in either of these things. I see the code repetition, which I think I'm going to need to use here. 
Let me, let me get back to that page with the norm instructions. Okay. Oh, there's Swiss. Okay. Page 15 of the norm. So if I use Swiss. So the value of the first operand in the back. So we're going to have to do the third So digits from left to right are 4, 3, 2, 1. So we would swizz 0, 0, 0, 1 to get what we need, I believe. Uh, so that, let's, let's just do a little test on that, make sure that I understand this properly, and then we'll get to work. I, have, I only have an hour here, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this, <clears throat> but I do want to get started. So let's just uh, copy 15 to X and then Swizz X0001 T. And if that works the way I want it to, it should put a 5 into T. Yep, perfect. Okay. Beautiful. So. I also want to see the goal here because I want to just make sure I understand exactly what they want from me. A packet, okay. So we get the IP address from here. And then we search that up. To find this. So we need this, we need this IP, 192, blah, blah, blah. We need this 43.7. And then we need to do the check something, which we'll figure out. And then are we are we also doing 30? We're also we're also including I can link into the internet? That's cool. I didn't expect that. Okay. I'm a little afraid of the 30 thing, but I think we'll be alright. Okay. So your job is going to be, each packet needs that information? Yes. Okay. That's fine. We can do that. Um, grab 300, please, grab 300, link 800. I want them to. I want them to get here. Um, what is what is this link? I'm a little bit confused. So we jump on here. Can, can I read from this? Can I copy hashtag adder to file? Does that just work? No, it's not there. Are they just not, is this a north-southwest thing? I don't think so. No. I'm confused at step two right now, so oh uh, shit. I'm a little nervous about this. Th this is this feels like a thing that I'm just going to completely I'm gonna completely fail to remember how this is done.
Okay, what if I just copy MDF? What if I just wait? Like, is that ever gonna open up? It doesn't look like it doesn't look like it's going to. Hmm. That's a stupid thing to get caught on, and I'm so glad I noticed that. Okay. Whew. Okay. Uh, we need something from, from here. You're, you're going to grab that pile, yes. And then... What's... Okay, 301 is that. Okay, that's fine. You're gonna have to do your thing then. That's fine. Um, I need. I guess you can probably Yeah, I, I think you're just going to mark one and then copy X to M jump one. I think that's all you're gonna do. And then you'll just you'll just be that person. Yeah, and you will be local. That would be fantastic. Okay. XB, you're going to grab 301. Um, hmm. 
Yeah, there's a couple of, there's a couple ideas I have here about how to handle this. <laughs> it keeps flipping over any time it gets to ten, so yeah, I think I think this will actually work the way I need it to. There's just a couple. There's a couple little hindrances in my mind here, and I just want to make sure we do this all right. We gotta do. We gotta send the thirty over. We have to be counting. I think for the thirty. And I think I think we just have to. This is one of these moments where I think I just have to start typing, and then when I find the problems, fix them. Because as I'm thinking ahead, I'm seeing the problems, but I think if I have this stuff down, I can look back and fix them more easily than just thinking through. So I'm going to put a copy. 0 to x here, even though we don't necessarily need that. And then... Copy file to m. I will do a
you're sitting here. XB is staying right here. XA is over here. This XC is going to be sitting in the middle, uh, doing their own thing, I believe. XA is going to be on local, so that's fine. I'm trying to decide where to get when when to get these IP addresses. Copy the zero to X. That's fine. Copy zero to M. Okay, you started up there. That's good. That's what we want. Okay, you've already made your own little folder. That's also what we want. So you are going to copy M file. And then I think just jump zero again until we hit a one or a two. Uh, test video equal to if it is not equal to two, then we are going to seek nine. Right 
here. We're not at the end of the file, we're gonna keep sending it. If we do hit the end of the file, then we need to jump zero. Yeah, okay, I like that. Um, if we're told the file is over,
if it's not, or if it, no, if it is a two, then what are we gonna do? Do we wipe our folder? I think we also, I think we still need to see if make out of here as well. Yeah, so if, if you're done, if you copy two to M and you die, Save some activity if I replicate, but I don't know if that's really what I want. I think I'm just gonna. Ha I think I'm just gonna create my own man. No, I'm not, because we're gonna need a, a number of them. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna create your own man. You're gonna wipe. A is going to be here, and we have 29 lines of code left. I'm nervous. Okay, I am nervous about this size. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna exist. You're gonna make your own file, and then you're going to test M. down here and there, I, I need to add where I send that back so before mode so that's in a file false jump five you need to copy one down right here okay so what you what you need to do <laughs> what you need to do is here you're going to swizz m0001 t and then addy xtx and then jump that I, I don't really need this here though right yeah I do shit oh this sucks oh this sucks so much um, I, yeah I need to add this everywhere Then you're gonna jump back up to C. Uh, mark B is going to be the same thing, except at the end we need we need a little something more here. Oh, this is uh, no, I'm gonna no, I'm gonna lose this. I'm not gonna have the size for this. Shit! I can see right now I don't have the size for this. 
Alright, we, we have soft caps now, I can see if it works. Um, okay, so you're gonna, yeah, you're going to... Okay, yeah, one, once this happens, once we're at the end... We are going to swizz x zero 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 one into five, and then mark D. Damn it! Okay, I can clean this up. I can this up. I know I can. No, I don't. I don't know that. Oh, shit. Can I swizz MMT? Does that work? Swizz X da -da -da, to the file, that's fine. And then it's going to be this stuff again. Except this time it's like that. And I don't want this. Except that we also need copy zero to x. Copy zero to x. And then you gotta do this again, twice more. And that's the trouble. I don't feel like I can really lose lose anything with the replicant. I feel like the replicant must be doing this stuff. Uh, this, I can clean this up for sure. Because this is all just the same. And I'm not, I'm not using X at all here, so that's fine. Well, no, I'm holding, I'm holding... I'm holding the value too in my X, so I do need to do something with that. I do need to do something with that. This, this is where I'm going to focus on cleaning up, and I, it might be enough, it might not be, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, but I think, you know, we can probably clear out 18, maybe 18 slots, 18 lines of code there, if we're lucky, I don't know, copy zero to X, mark F, just M equals zero, Otherwise, Swiss M into zero one hundred. Put it in T. Any XTX. Jump 
F mark G Swiss. Wait, wait. Am I doing this right? I don't think I'm doing this right. Am I doing this right? <laughs> um. I'm taking, I'm taking that and putting it in there. I think that's what I want. I think this is what I want. So Swiss, yeah, Swiss X 0100 into the file. Copy zero to X. Mark H. Otherwise, Swiss one thousand. X to X. Jump H. Mark I. In this case, you are done. In this case. You are to link 85 and do something completely different. This is still tough. You're going to have to I don't think this even works. Because I can't, I can't place the digit where I want it. Right now I'm going to have four digits in the file. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think this works the way I want it to. Basically, if if I have if I have the number six, uh, can I create that into six hundred? Yeah, it looks like I can actually. Looks like I can. So I, I think I'm doing this completely wrong. Um, this needs to be two. No. No, no. It needs to be zero to like that. Yes. Three. Yeah, I was fucking this up big time. Four, and then, so we switch this stuff, and then we take it and put it in half. And I think the same here. We took it and put it in half once, twice, three times, okay. So now we have, okay, so this is where it's going to get one. We need to, we need to swizz x 1000 into x. Can, can I 
combine the files. Swiss file. Um, this is going to be the 100 digit. So that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Not really, though. Ah, uh, Swiss X. Let's do. Let's do this the opposite way. So we have. We actually already have this the way we want. So now we're gonna swi Okay. Go back to the beginning. Swiss file. Um. God damn it. doesn't work at all. I think I need I think I need to do replicants. How can I do replicants without overriding something? I keep looking at the zine. Page 15. So I want to input this without overriding it. I, didn't, I want to take. Yeah, I don't think it's possible. Yeah, like I want to take it from somewhere else. Okay. 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 Um. Let's do. Let's do Swiss file 1000. Also negative that. Um, can I just there? That would be awesome. It's all nines. What? Why are you all nines? Why the hell are you all nines? I don't understand. So th this is your file 400. You should be getting. adding that to T. So you should be getting three, three, four, three, seven. Alright, not sure how you're getting this math, but yeah, that should be ten. I don't know exactly what you're doing here. But what you do, go on. So it's 110, which I, like I said, I don't think that's right, but that's not super important right now. Show me the... Yeah, it should have been a, it should have been a 9. I don't know where we got that extra 1 from. Uh, I'll figure that out. But anyway, yeah, we, we get that. Jumped up to nine, 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 nine. 
Why? Why you do this? Yeah, I, I want to see this mistake. Let's go to mark E, see if we can find it there. supposed to be 2709, right? It's supposed to be 2109. So the math is wrong, but it's close. Like, we've got that close to what we need. Uh, what I'm thinking now, and this is a little bit, you know, here and there, uh, because I'm out of time. Like I said, I only had an hour to record right now. I wanted to get this started. I wanted to get a look at this, and I want to think about it while I'm out doing things. So that when I come back, I can really attack it. And I, I think I've done that. I'm pretty happy. But uh, the math is wrong. That's number one. We'll be able to fix that, for sure. Uh, number two, I want like, different bots. I don't exactly know how I'm going to do it right now, but I feel like if I can figure out a way. different bots running simultaneously, I might have a better chance at this. Right now we're 19 over and we haven't created the final file yet, so we need to trim a lot of code from this. And I believe I can do it, I just need to figure out exactly how to do it. But it's going to take a little bit of time. It really is. And yeah, I don't know. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this. But I will find a way. during that time, you know, obviously, I'm thinking about these puzzles, uh, even when I'm away from them, and I I'm going to start mostly over. Uh, I'm going to keep XA. I think, I think he's doing good work. And XB, what do you do? You just send that out, which is cool. Swizz directly into M and the file yes equals plus one four. That's my note. Okay. And what I mean by that is that it's 
instead of where I'm doing copy file to M and then down here we copy M or no we swizz M da 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 into T I was thinking this bot could swizz from file to M and then this bot would just addy M addy X M X not really the time saver I thought it would be, but the other part of this is test in a file. If yes, wherever it is here, test in a file. If yes, instead of jumping down, we would just add one to x, test if x equals four, if not, then we sign 99 and jump back up. That's going to help us get rid of a lot here. So that's cool. So XC is one that I really, I really want gone. Just forget about that. We're not super worried about it. XB I think is doing good work. Uh, so here's my two thoughts. Um, Could X be, you know, just send the stuff as a Swiss? And I think no. I think no, because he has to, XB needs to keep track of the third. So I think that's a no. So I think we just have to go again with XC and try to keep it in 71 using the plus one technique. So. You're going to... Well, hold up. We, we could save a couple of lines here. Copy that. Link into... 800. Okay, I like what we got here. I, I like the idea. Uh, let's replicate, and uh, you're going to tell them to your. Yeah, you're going to just keep doing that. I believe. Somebody kills me. Okay, yeah, that's good. I like that. And then mark A is gonna be huge. Okay. So you're just gonna do your thing. You're going to absolutely perfect and yeah I like that a lot that saves us a couple of lines that saves uh, the bot needing to go that well no it doesn't really because
because is for when, when he's free I'm thinking to have him create another replicant who does the same thing again but my problem with this is if he creates a new replicant then this replicant creates another new replicant and I feel like that could be a problem Maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe Mark Three. You go on the kill streak. We could do that. That could be an idea. Let's hold on to that idea. Let's make that the idea. So, you went back, and then you grab the Z, I guess, and then Mark the Z is going to be down here somewhere. And then what are you going to do? You've got the main file in your hand. So, I think Mark Z needs to take the third. Um, you need to make a file. Um, mode yourself. Y test M equals zero false jump X otherwise copy M to file jump Y. Mark X is going to be C negative nine nine and start doing this shit.
That's what I'm saying. And I had copied file to X here. Copy that to M. So I think I think I also need a copy zero to X situation there. Jump back to the beginning. Uh, Swiss file. Da 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 da. Am I switching it to X? No, I'm switching it directly to M. That's not what I want though, right? Or is it? What the hell am I doing? This this is where I'm getting confused again. Yeah, I need I need I need to do this differently. I'd love to branch this into four different replicants. I just don't know how to do it. To have them all in different cycle counts, I just think it would be too complicated and too, too easy to work through them. Like while one's copying from M, the other one is swizzing. I don't know. It would be very complicated. I could try it. Six zero 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 four to M. And then test and the file. This is wrong though, because that, that wouldn't work. It works, we just need to, we're wasting code again. It works, we're just wasting code again. Because I would need to write down these, there's like eight lines wasted. So. Cut 
this out. I, I don't think this is going to work. So you need to have note X9, and that's just not. This is not cool. So I don't think that works. So let's forget about all that. We copy zero to X. We, we just switched ourselves to local. I don't know that we necessarily need to do that, but we're going to. So we're on local now. Does this even, does this work to this point? Yeah, it does. And then you're going to switch back to it. Okay, cool. And this one's dead because it ran out of instructions. That's understandable. back here at the beginning of the pile. You are going to
Sorry. Mm. My apologies, that game was going to be quick. I'm not sure it's done either. One option would we have XAD, XA and XB be loaded. We could create an XC here, like we had last time. Jump back and forth, I guess. But how? I don't know how we're going to do what we need to do here. I was. What was? What was I saying? I, I had a train of thought, but I kind of like. Switch to global. Yeah, like I wanted to switch the one guy to global and then have other replicants dealing with this nonsense, but that just doesn't work. That doesn't work out. So. So I don't know what we're doing. I mean, I guess, I guess we just have to send him the signal. As much as I hate it, I feel like that's just what we have to do here. It's only a few more lines wasted. It's not, I don't think it's going to make the difference between success and failure. So... need to add this sneak negative 999 thing. That's cool. We're going to seek negative na 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 na. That's cool as well. And then we're going to I, I actually might copy negative one to X and do a mark W here and then add a X one X. And then I think, because we're going to have, no, no, maybe that, I think that doesn't need to be a zero. It does. Add the X1 to X, that's cool. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, test X equals five, true jump the whole way down to U. Okay, otherwise. Otherwise, we're going to swizz file xm I think we need to, I think we need to copy 0 to m here. Give, give him that signal. Copy 0 in the hand, da da da. Tail jump up there. Otherwise, Copy one to M. And then jump W, I believe. I think that's what we want. I 
feel okay with it. Now the cat is behind the computer tower, messing with the wires. That's what that's what we've generated them to. That's what we that's what we've become. Oh dear. Okay. Here's what I don't like. I I, I think just add a second one to this. Is it equal to zero? If no, test it again. Yeah, I think I think that's just what we need, honestly. Okay, Let, let's work let's work this other pathway. So you have those two things. M to file. Jump back in here, you replicated a Z, and now you have some work to do. You need to um, the first thing that gets sent is what's happening here? Okay, you're switching to global. Get all that information, and then you're copying the zero out to X. Uh, that's fine, and then the zero to M. So you, you take all the stuff from him. Okay, that's cool. So I guess you can just mark B right here. Um, test M equals zero. Um, false jump. D, I suppose, and I'll mark D down here. Um, but if it does equal zero, then you're, all, you're already getting the switz. So you just need to Otherwise, if it's a one, you've just you've just moved forward here. So what you need to do is copy X to file. And then I think jump B is gonna be fine. Yeah, I think that's good. But in the case that it is Just copy X to file. Maybe copy X to file. Yeah, it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be easier to do that like that. I'm trying to think if there's a way that I can put them in files. Um, in the position they need to already be in. 
No, I can just add, add, add. But I don't know that I can. That, that doesn't seem... I don't think I'm going to be able to reuse this code if I do it like that. So, this seems the better way. So, okay. So now we know that we're over. And so, we, we're going to need to seek negative 3 at some point. But we have what we need... Where it is. So I, I think we just have to eat up a little bit of code here. So seek negative three, um, and then swizz file. No, that's not right. Um, Two zero one T. That's gonna that's gonna override it though. That's okay, we, we can switch it around, we can switch it around. This is fine, this is fine. Seek negative T, negative whatever, I don't know. And we can put the first... We'll make the first the last. So swizz file 1000 to T, addy, x, x, swizz, File 100 T Addy XT X Swizz File 0010 to T Addy XT X. So that will put, we already have the, the left or most digit in here at the rightmost spot. So we'll put we'll do them in reverse order. The the rightmost digit will be first and then second and third. You know what I'm trying to say there. And so we add those all together and we end up with what we need. So now we need to swizz X One, two, three, four, mega. Into X again. Or into file. But. But. We also need to seek negative three again. So seek negative three again. Swizz that into the file. Then, uh, can, I, can I alt tap this? I, I would love to see this as working. Um, somebody died. <laughs> somebody died. At what point? Oop, about, about 1500 cycles in. You die? Okay. Okay, that continues to work. Where's the death? About a thousand seconds. So what? Okay. So so you're you're dying because you're out of instructions. Okay. That's fine. I think. Two one zero nine. Show goal. Two one zero nine. Awesome. So that's that is actually working. We need to figure out why this guy's dying. I'm not, I'm not super happy about but but. But we'll get to it. We'll figure that out. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, no, nope, that, that was too hard. That was too hard. I just want 
on why he's dying. So it's it's you that's dying. You're gonna copy zero to X. Switch this. Go down B. So it's probably here. Like you're you're gonna send. You can send these two ones, and then you're gonna try to jump W. And then you're yeah you're, yeah you're gonna you're gonna test jump to G. Okay, that's that's exactly what we wanted. And it's exactly what should have happened. So, let's see. We get to you. We need to... Seek. Negative nine, 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 nine again. Um... Basically what we're going to do is copy file to M, sub a x1 x, test x equals zero, true jump, or no, false jump, T. Okay. Let's do that. So now, you have these 30s. And you're going to send those out. But you you should have you should have done something else. Why are you Okay? Can I grab a second file? What? What the heck? <laughs> what what happened there? I'm I'm confused now. Um You are here. I'm not asking you to grab it. Take negative three. So you just copied this extra file as well, which I don't think is what I wanted you to do. But you have two months in that. Why did you do that? Don't don't copy. Oh. Are we reusing all of this stuff? I guess we are. Yeah, I suppose we are. So you're gonna... And then you try to make something. Okay. Okay, that's, that's something. I, I see the problem. I, I don't like it, but I see it. So you did, you did four. Okay. So seek negative four. Uh, yeah, that's gonna take some... Oh, that's gonna take some tries that I really don't have. I've got nine lines left. Seek negative four. Um, well, I might not need this though anymore. Or maybe I do. Uh, we'll see. So we have nothing in X, is basically what we're saying. Or do we still have something in X? Get to here. You have nothing in X. We copy X to file, and that makes X zero for something? Just because... It's two. It's, it's two, though. Why... I'm so confused by this. I'm really very confused right now. <laughs> uh, let's get up here. You're going to copy X to file. You're going to put that 1 or 9 in there. You're going to jump back up to B. Clear it out. You're going to run the thing again. Put the 120 in there. Run it again. Put the 111 in there. Run it again. It was not equal to Oh, okay, we go up here and clear it before we test. That's why. We clear it and then we test for the ones. Okay, makes sense. I, I get it now. Okay, so 
negative. So we seek negative four. We swizz. The first one. Okay, so we can probably do better here. Yeah, because we're not we're not preserving X anymore. So swizz file zero zero one into T. Add it in there. super close to this. The problem is I'm very low on time, and uh, I'm not happy about that at all. I've got about four minutes, and that sucks. So, okay, so what are we going to do? Now, the other guy's going to try to send you stuff, and so basically, what are you doing? You are going to test if x equals zero. If it doesn't, you're going to send it again. I feel like you need to be sending him information too. He needs to know when to finish. So, mark F. Test M equals zero. False jump G. Otherwise, copy. Here you're going to copy zero to M, copy one to M, and now we are oversized and we haven't finished. We're really close though. We're very close to done. We need only a few more things. When you're finished. You're going to I guess just leave. Link eighty five, link eight hundred, halt. Like that's it for you. And then you I'm gonna like jump up. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess Z. Is it Z that you're jumping up to? You're gonna have to like. Mm, what are you gonna have to do? I think we need to like mark S here. And you need to see negative nine nine. And then jump S. Like I feel like that's what you need to be doing. But he dies. And I think file four hundred is not anywhere near accurate. What the fuck did I do? Copy in the file. Like how how did you how did you not do that? What? <laughs> what the hell? Um what? <laughs> Awesome. 
Alright, I am back. Um, I'm gonna be very honest, I don't really have a plan here. This is just, I want to... I, I want to look at it some more. You know, I, I want it in front of me as I try to figure this out. Um, the only couple things I did think was... Having less bots. You know, I was wondering how possible that was. If I have only XA moving to here and then creating replica of myself, that would save the lines of something. It would save some lines. I don't know. <laughs> uh, hmm. I do. I do really want to see. to always be 85. It, it seems like something they would change. Like, I don't know why they would have it. I don't know why they would have it be something you can pick up and use when it's always the same. I don't quite get that. Why wouldn't they just listen here? But well, that's what we got, so... That's unfortunately just the way it's going to be. Definitely need three of one. We can carry three hundred with us. We can also overwrite. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of something here. So you're gonna grab 300. Copy. Cloud X. White. Grab 301. Okay, that, that puts XA over here with this in the X registrar plus holding this file. Okay. Can't pick this up if you're holding that file. That probably matters. Forget about that, I suppose. Go to a one, and then you're going to need to do the search. You have to mark A. Test file equals X. False jump in A. Otherwise. So we hit, we hit this, otherwise, other products. Now we have that. And then, you can be on local. And just constantly be copying. This is a couple lines, but I, I think otherwise we're going to have to, I think we're going to have to use this regardless. Uh, I'll talk through that in a moment. Copy X to M, jump to B. So that's that.
what's the alternative here? The alternative is... I think we still have to have a Mark B. Because we, we don't know how many packets we're going to send out. So I think we still need a Mark B. And then this would be Void M. Copy X to M. And then jump up. So I think this is just, just keep doing that. We're good. I think we're pretty good on that, honestly. doesn't seem to be better than what I'm thinking now, which is Make it to the end of the file. 
then you will I'm I'm debating right now. I, I have to do a better job of talking out loud. Um I'm debating right right now to support more to send zero, one, and two so that there's multiple tests on the other side, or if it's better to copy the M value into X and then test it from there. And I think sending the three is probably the better way to do it. So we get the end of the file, you're going to copy two M. And probably just kill it and just die. So instead, let's mark partial end here. So you've hit the partial end of this. You're going to copy 1 to M. Copy 0 to X. I think that's all we need from you. And eventually you'll hit the end of the file and you'll just die. Yeah, I, th I think that's good. C is going to jump in there. And it's going to start... signal that we hit the end of this run, we are going to seek negative probably do a replica situation. And this, this is where it's gonna get a little bit hairy. So mode. zero and then mark zero, that's two lines of code. If I just create a font to links into 800, that's one line. I think that's better. I, I feel like that's better. And then I'll do a mark zero here. Eh, maybe it's not better. <laughs> Maybe it's exactly the same. But it will be less complicated, I think. So link into there. Uh, make yourself a file. Okay. 
So you switch to local mode and then you're going to start sending stuff out. So you're going to be Mark B. Yeah, we have to do them all separately. So we're going to copy file to M, test, and file. Send a file fail jump B. If it's true, Eddie X one X. This might be another case of sending three signals, which I, don't, I really don't like to do. But I'm feeling like I might have to. I, I can't really afford it though, because we're doing the calculations in our X. I, I could send it to T and then calculate it, I guess. So I don't like that. Anyway, we're going to add X1X. We're, we're at one when we started this. We need to do it one time to get the two. Twice, five. So if it equals to five, true jump C, otherwise. This is not gonna work. Here's where I would need to copy one to M. Jump C. Yeah, 
add one test it is that. If it is that, then we jump to D. If it's not that, If it's not the end, then we need to just go back and do it again. Swizzing directly? Nope, that's not going to work at all. Because you're the one doing the math. So you need your X registrar to be free. So you can't be doing that at all. How do I do that one? I feel like I had this figured out the last time. That's what that's what's really frustrating me here. I had this I had this bot working. You're on one here. So you local mode, you just go back to the beginning. You don't need to swizz, you need to, or you don't need to copy, you need to swizz. So you're on, you have a one on your X. And you have 30 of those 
captain. So you need to start switching. How do we do that? How do we switch? Switch file, and then it's going to be file X M, I think. So it, it, one, it's going to send you the left and most, it, the, the right, the right most digit, and you're sending that directly to XD. So you swizz that, and then you test and the file, true jump and the file, otherwise. Zero to M, jump B. Mark end of file. And I think you're going to. X1X test X equals five because that would mean we've done it four times. Test equals five. False jump zero. I feel relatively okay about that. It's not great. It's not awesome what we got there. But it's something. Yeah, I don't like this copy two thing. Uh, I don't really want that there. But I don't know a better way to do this. This might be close enough that it's worth doing. Let me... I'm gonna write a note. Let's do it, let's do it from over here. Um, it 
if this fails, have XC swizz into its own X branch with the Swiss value coming from XD and then So that's my name. If I can't make this work the way I'm doing it now, then we're gonna go back to this moment and try to fix it. Okay, so otherwise, <laughs> using it this way, what are we doing with it? You've made your own file, you add zero in your X register, you're receiving this information. You might need to double these up. I, I think we will. I think I think we do need to double them up. Top of one to M. So if it's a one, what what we've done is okay. So I want to swizz x two zero one into five, and then. Probably mark A, I think is what I need to do. I can either copy zero to X here and then jump mark one, or I can make a mark A up here.
2, which we've already written out, is going to be when we have them on. So, Not without, not without overriding it. What I want to do, I, I have. Let's say I have a. My file says five, four, five. I want to swizz the five into the four, but that's not possible. I'm swizzing the number they gave me and putting it somewhere else, overriding whatever's there. So this, no, that does not work. So swizz file one thousand. actually do that later. Save us up the line. Um, see so negative three, link eighty five, and then copy. Then swizz that stuff. And then here's where here's where we got a little bit of a problem.
I'm, I'm deciding here, is it better to do a test MRD? Test MRD, if true, then do this. Or we have to copy this. If you do this, yeah, I, I think this is actually a uh, fail jump one situation, and then otherwise mode C and do that. Yeah, I like that. So you swizz here, uh, link made one. M to file. I want to do test that. That would be that, but that's my size limit. So you copy that into your file, and yeah, you immediately fail. So you would need some no-ops here in order for that to line up. And like I said, we're already at the size limit, which means we don't have any kill commands yet. So this does not work. Uh, C and D will have to be he also can't replicate himself to do the next file. So yeah, we're way off of that. So I'm going to step away for a few minutes, uh, recollect my thoughts, and then we'll come back and try that note that I wrote out. Okay, I, I've just come back in a hurry here because I, I, had, I had an interesting thought. Uh, the note, this note here, I was thinking, I was thinking about my note. And I, I don't think it matters. Um, so I, I, was, I was visualizing the code in my head. And I was planning to take about an hour and a half break, but this has been maybe ten minutes. Uh, so I was I was visualizing this code in my head, and I'm like, well, it's it's pretty much the same thing because we're, we're still sending signals back and forth. I, it feels like it's about the same amount of lines. So I'm not even worried about that. That's gonna go. But what I did realize was that it doesn't really matter if this guy's sending out 30 or less. All that matters is that he hits the end of the file or not. So we don't really need to be sending out the 0, 1, 2. He can just say, this is all we are getting for now. So I'm going to I'm going to get rid of C and D again. I I do this a lot where I just don't, we don't need to do anymore. So you grab 301, copy file to M. You're on global. That's okay. Copy file to M. Add one. Test the in the file, true jump, I guess true jump at a file is fine. Is that the best way to write? <clears throat> Test 
the salmon file. Hmm, that doesn't really stay here. Shit. This seems like a really good idea. like we are. Press OK. OK. I, I guess. I don't, I, don't, I don't know that we've really made enough work or strides here to fix what we're doing. I don't feel great about all of this. Replicate, and then we're going to
Stick to the beginning. Copy file to M. other bot to keep track of how many cycles we've done. trying to think of the best way to do this and I, I just can't. I can't I can't really trim much off of what I've already written I, I don't know I'm missing something Jackson here, this is nothing. This is a nothing challenge. I just, I just don't know how to trim out enough. You saw where that last solution was. I hadn't, I hadn't written the kill switch yet. that's going to be, but you can, you can maybe assume it's 10 lines. And so here I am. Still very stuck. I 
keep trying to think of a way to check some this whole thing. Not the whole thing, but the the file that contains 30 lines. If if I could check some of that all four digits at the same time, I feel like that might be worth something, but I don't know what that something is right now. Still copying one to M? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, 
that's cool. True jump. False jump D, otherwise copy zero to X and jump. He's gonna be right there. That's pretty cool. So yeah, it's your end file. You're on global. What are you planning right now? You might need to do a check to see where you're at. Well, hold up. You copy file M, that's in the file. If you hit if you trigger meta file, you copy one to M. You don't need to do that, right? You can hop. At the end of the file, you die. But you now you still you still do need to do that. You still need that. You set him free and then you die. So you you've hit the end of your file. You've done everything you were going to do. Still need to copy one of them. Then you mode back to local. Mm. 
mode back to local. You need to kill it though. You need to kill the file you have. Son of a bitch. Mode back to local. Test. MRD. if it's zero. If it is, you add it together. If it's not zero, copy next to file, then test if it's ready. is ready, clear it out to the end. He's not ready. Instead of copying X, no, you're always copying X to file, so yeah, that wouldn't work. I just don't like how tight our size is. Swizz, the file. I guess we're gonna do, we have all four here, so we can do whatever we want with this. Um, we're always doing this. That's right, so this needs to be one. That's fine. And then Swiss file ten to T. Addy.
I guess we gotta do this. Swizz. I 
see the failure. I, I, I don't know exactly what caused it, but... We do all this stuff. Okay, so where are you at? You have your two. Test of it equals zero. You are not sending it. You're not sending anything. So there's your failure. Your failure. Might be able to just throw two no ops in there. Potentially. What about now? Oh, look. Oh. Somebody left their little file behind. No. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's you. That might actually be... What about now? Okay, hold, hold this up. We got one correct? Like, there's, there's one correct one here? Um, what's the, uh, what's the difference between what we have and what they want? 703 to 5298. Sure. Can you make a file? 
Yeah, I don't I don't know how we're missing that. Kind of this. You just you start existing and then you I guess you do you would need to clear it, because you're you're gonna inherit whatever he has there. So you're gonna make a file and then you're gonna copy zero X. And now it's still not working. We got three out of the four right after that. The failure is the final one. One six. Yeah, look, I have like 30 here. 7878 is right. 26, that's right. 974 is right. But there's something like, look, we're repeating most of this data. Nine seven oh four. Why, why is this happening? I don't quite. I don't quite get that. Can I alt to a point in here? No. I, I see 9704 down there. So this is we have to wipe anyway. So we are going to get rid of this. We're going to mode wipe and then true jump up. There it is working, but we need to trim eight lines. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna. I, I I'm hesitant. I'm I'm thinking to do the top through right now, but frankly, uh, trimming these eight lines could change a lot, so I'm not going to do that. But there it is working. trim eight lines somewhere. <sighs> and we'll have it. Well, just where where can we find these eight lines? You know, I'd like to I'd like to do it right here. But I don't know how. And this is another instance. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step away for a while, think about it. Uh, 
while walking, you know, if you followed me through this series, through Shenzhen, through any of these puzzle game series, uh, leaving the problem seems to help my thoughts a lot, like, just walking around the house or something really helps to focus my head, so that's what I'm going to do right now, hopefully we'll be able to figure this out. Alright, I am back, hopefully for the final time. Uh, I just went out, had lunch with my girlfriend, and these are the notes I wrote. I wrote these down on my phone as I was out at lunch, but I wanted you guys to see them. So, clear replicant, send 30 out, replicant, send 1, 2, 3, 5 times dies, mid sweats with the mess, and globally, globally, clear by far out, immediately takes out keys, mode, 4 instructions, no need for test, swizz in, receive 30, leave, mid bot restarts, question, question. That's the note I wrote. Hopefully, I remember what all that means, and hopefully that means completing this uh, Hopefully, let's copy. Let's get in here. Okay. So. I have this note over here, and I think again I have to kill C. You guys are all going to be local, that's fine. You grab 300, take your thing. Uh, you're wiping that, I don't necessarily think you need to. Yeah, no, you, you have to get your IP. So that's probably fine. Uh, da -da -da -da. Link, link, grab this, find the thing, copy it to X. So that's all good. And I'm gonna get rid of that for now. You're gonna grab this. Copy it out. Da -da -da. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna have you rep the one. Okay. Midbot switches. I feel like this is one of these situations where I might need to clear it out because this is all confusing me. So, copy one to X. I'll switch that to 31. It's fine. These are all on local also fine. Mark 1 is going to be over here. And your job is going to be to make yourself a file. And then you're going to switch the map. So. Otherwise, 
I'm gonna get rid of that for now. Do I want to copy zero to X here? Probably not. I probably want to switch this back to jumping to zero. I probably want to jump to zero there and um, void out, I think, is what I want to do. <clears throat> so you copy that stuff in, and then your job is going to be make mode. Copy MF. The, the idea I'm doing right now is to have more bots but less checks. I, I don't want as many tests. So like this guy is just going to send it out one. Like he's not going to look for information back. He's just going to take it. If that makes any sense. You're He's supposed to swizz the map, but that doesn't make sense. That does not make sense. So right now my thought is, can, can I keep creating bots? That have my X registrar, is that a possibility? And no, it's not. If you were doing the math, no, it's not. So, like, do we still need to do... Do we still need to do checks here? And I'm thinking, yes, we do. So let's switch over to this one. And let's see. Where's the four instructions? So we are going to have... I don't think this is what's going to work. 
I mean, we obviously we have these two knops here, which I'd like to get rid of. But I'm saying that somebody should take in instructions without a need for a test. Like, we know... equals zero. True jump B. Okay. So you do that whole thing. And it doesn't equal zero anymore. Now 
now going to link 800 again. And here's where it gets interesting. X to M, copy, file to M, test, and a file. True jump E. file or you hit the finality. So if you hit the end of the file, you just need to seek negative 99 and send them again, right? You just need to jump A, right? <clears throat> yeah, once you've hit the end of the file, oh, I don't know. Because the other guy's gonna need to be told that we're moving forward.
Yeah, this needs to be this needs to be created with no intellect. <clears throat> this needs to be you can just send the information without needing to check. <laughs> so, how do we do that? I want you to grab 301. I want you to mark 0. Copy 0 to X. <clears throat> mark 1. Copy file to M. Test M to file. Get the file over here. Otherwise, adding x one x. Test x equals thirty. False jump. One. Otherwise, void m jump zero. Something like that. If you hit the end of the file, I'm not sure. It's always, when I start typing, it always feels like I have a great idea, but then when I actually get into it, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, I want him to just send this stuff out. idea to have this bot just send all the stuff out. Just immediately send it all out. But I, yeah, I can probably make that work, but I don't see how it helps. That's the problem. Okay. 
you're swizzing your own stuff. Oh yeah, I like the idea. How do I do it? We need I know it's gonna be airs, but I don't care about the airs. Stop. This is how this has to look. Um you need to seek nine no, 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 whatever. You need to copy zero to X. Then you need to That's failing again. That's already failing. I can't. I can't do my own math and hold the fucking the Swiss value as well. That's what's really tripping me up. It's like I need. need something I don't have. That doesn't work. The order of I was thinking maybe if the bot went over here and got the IP addresses first, that might help. I don't know how that was going to help, but I thought maybe it could. Uh, the problem is we need the uh, checksum before any of that can happen. So that's already dead. We 
could try sending this information out to two different bots. But that, I don't really see how that helps. I need I need instances where I can avoid tests. Like the tests are really what's hurting me. It's a lot of quiet on this episode. I'm sorry about that. I just, uh, I, I really thought I had something. I, like I was really feeling great about this. The replicant sends it out five times. Midbot swizzes the map. That's 
except that. We're not using Mark Zero at all. If it's true, then we hit the end of the file. We add one. If it's fine. If it's not five, then we jump. Is that right? Feels like it could be. And your only job is to <clears throat> transmit that data repeatedly. So, um, you're gonna grab area one. tells that we're done. I think copy zero to M. And then just jump A. But if we hit the end of the file, Copy one to M. Copy one to M. Like that. And 
and you can probably just halt, maybe? See about that. Oh, this is already so many instructions. <laughs> you as the replicant. <clears throat> <clears throat> information, copy it into your folder, I feel like that's what we want. Oh, it only gives me 49 lines. I'm not super happy about that. Oh. But he's sending this stuff out. see that I have a problem. Make this file, we copy the stuff in. And then we go over there and start sending it out. Send it out once, twice, three times. giving us the ability to Swiss. I, I, I don't know how I keep missing this point. I need that Swiss by X and this isn't letting me do that. If, if this bot is keeping track of how many times he's sending this stuff out, then he can't keep track of the Swiss that we're on. I feel like this one's complete garbage. And this is garbage. This is eight. But like how do we? I, I'm not sure what to do right now. Uh, this is. I'm, I'm going to leave because I have to be somewhere very soon. I have to leave the house in about about 13 minutes. You know, I got a little bit of time. I'm not enough to do anything with this. So like, I need to walk away from this for a second, and I need to write down a list of everything I need to be successful. So I need to be able to keep track of the swizzes, I need to be able to keep track of how many times we've sent this stuff out. You know, there's, there's several things that need to be done here, and... Every time I see a place where I think I can cut a corner, it turns out I can't cut it there. So... I don't know, I, I, need, to, I need to visualize this in a different way. I really don't know what they want from me right now. Thank you. 
Alright, we are back once again. And I have a little bit of an idea. I don't know, you know, obviously, how it's going to work out, but it, it seems like a promising beginning of a thought. So, right now, whoa, what did I do? <laughs> um, desktop? Connect? Thank you. Okay, so let's see where we're at here. So, I'm just going to create a new one because that's what I do. And. XB Link 800 Copy 800 to M Like that in my notes uh, test x equals zero fail jump die and then right at the end I have mark die okay <clears throat> but I don't I don't have a note for where I'm putting numbers into X I thought it was something to do with Counting what's on this, and that's probably correct. So, do a mark zero, copy zero to X, replay, and then. Mark one, copy file to M test and file true jump two. Otherwise, addy x1x, test x equals 30, fail jump 1, otherwise mark 2, I need to jump up, but I'm trying to see where where this happens. Because right now we have 30 in X. We sent the one. Okay. So you jump up, you test it at zero. I 
needs to be true jump die, I think. And then you can clear. Create a new bot. Copy file to M. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really sure that I like what's happening here. Because if, if it's if this is an even number, if there's only 30 here, you're gonna die trying to do this copy, and this replica is just gonna be chilling. So I'm not not super happy about that at all. I remembered what I remembered what my idea was. Um, mark zero. Test x equals zero. Fail jump die. Okay. And we'll put a mark die down here. Okay. Now. If that fails. Copy 30 to X, and then probably a mark one here. You're going to End of file. True jump two. Then you're going to copy file to M. Subby X one X. Test. X equals zero. Fail jump one. Otherwise, well, no, I think true jump two is better there. True jump two. Otherwise, you're going to copy 0 to M and jump 1. I think that's right. 2 is going to be right here, and you're going to copy 1 to M, jump 
zero. That feels pretty good. Except that... Except that we also need a replay in here. So we do that. Mark A. Your job is going to be to make a boulder. Mark B. Copy M. File. Test M equals zero. True jump B. Otherwise, mode. M and then and then this is gonna be a whole other thing. You're gonna link M because this guy is sending you a signal to come come work with me, please. And so this is where we get into all that other stuff. Probably test end the file, I'm thinking. Test end the file. True jump D, more than likely. Otherwise, copy zero to M and then copy that. That's what I'm thinking. you're going to jump. There's where you're going to jump D. This is going to be E, and this is going to be F. And you're going to mark D right here. Mark E is if we hit the end of the file. Then we're going to copy 1 to M.
I want to do the addition up here because we have a zero. We need the one. So. I want to do the addy x1 x up here and then test it equals 5. Okay. So what I'm looking for right now is that we're going to tell him, okay, you get this stuff for the final time. We jump up here. We are at the end of the file, so we jump E and tell it to continue. I don't particularly like that. So it's like there's where we need to... This is where we need, this stuff needs to be down here further. So we add the one, we hit the end of the file. Addy x one x test x do we do we equal to five? Probably. Yeah, test if x is equal to five. Crew jump F. Otherwise, copy one. If it is that, then what are you going to do? Then you're going to seek negative nine and nine. Can I do copy? F to M, test EF, fail jump G, and then on the other side do copy M to F, jump, and then I think I think the test is going to be one of the thing. If I'm willing to put a no op in then that's probably worth doing. Copy M to F. Jump Z. I think that's better than looking for twos and stuff. But I'm also missing something else here. I'm also missing... I need to like, copy a two. I need to let the other guy know what's going on. True jump F. Then you're going to seek news. 
You're not you're not giving him that information. So you're gonna constantly be searching. Does it equal zero? Fail jump. I think you just need to test it again. I think this just needs to happen twice. <laughs> as much as I don't like it, it feels like that's the way to go. And that should be it for that bot. <clears throat> you... that stuff over. And then what? You might even link into 885. I just yeah I think I think we do test if M equals zero fail jump down to D supposedly allegedly fail jump to D otherwise um, addy X M X and then jump 
C. Probably. Yeah, you're just going to keep adding that stuff. Once you hit that, mark D, test M equals to 1, uh, false jump Z, But if it does equal to 1, you're going to copy X file and then jump to B. Okay. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that. Okay, there's more to do here. You're not gonna fail jump Z, you're gonna fail jump Y. And then this is this is where things get a little interesting. You're going to load cut um shit. Um You're gonna seek. Negative nine. Forget it. It's fine. Seek negative nine. You're going to. We have one. So. And, and we're doing this from left to right again. So. The first digit we get is gonna be the furthest right digit. So. We need to swizz file two zero zero one into X. Okay. Then we need to swizz file zero zero one O into T Addy XTX. And we've done this before. where we fall into this. Fail jump. Out, I suppose. And then mark out is going to be uh, just link 800 probably. I think that's right. Except we're missing something. We need to... Replay, and then link it out. Okay, so that's that. Um, we're not gonna make it. Because... I think everything works except that we need this bot. And that takes more than what we have.
Um, that's 13 lines. Lines and we're not anywhere close to success here. So that's cool. Yeah, the problem is these guys are switching over automatically and they're they're getting created too fast. So these guys aren't done talking back and forth. So one of these reads a signal and it kill it kills everything. We, we could adjust it so that uh, once he calls them, they both mode back over to local and they work in here. That would fix that problem, but we are already at 105. We don't have a means of killing this bot. So I think we're screwed again. I feel like this was a complete waste. <laughs> I really do. If I could just drop eight lines from this. We'd be good. You can see right here, it works perfectly. It's just a matter of not fitting. It doesn't fit. So, what does that do to us? Am, am I again out of ideas? MRDs here. 
But this is, this, he's not the one new on it. The other guy's new on it. Yeah, you're the only one blue. So you're... Doing this stuff. You're just sitting there waiting. Where even is the test MRD? It's way up here. It it looks like those no ops are unnecessary. So I'm gonna they're right above Mark III. I'm gonna take those out. And it fails. It completely fails without them. Even though I don't understand. they're doing. Let me see. You copy zero to M. Okay. Where's the failure? It has to just be that. It passes through that code more than once. That's the only thing that super makes sense there. Um, so what are we going to do now? <laughs> Where is... here's your Swiss. Oh! I have an idea. Hold up. Um... How do I do this? You add... Copy zero to M. You swizz the file. That's in a file. You go up and do it again. That, that's cool. Okay. So instead of that, instead of that, let me hold up. Let me let me copy this. Okay. Instead of adding X one X, let me. Mully X10X. Uh, tested it's equals 9 to 9. That's cool. So we do that instead. Now we're going to have 1, 10, 100, 1000. Okay. So now you can forget about this. You can seek negative four. You can add e F and F and put it in X, then add e X F X, then add e X F X again, and that should give you the same result. It didn't quite. But we again have four files up here. So what? Oh, we, we're getting nine, 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 nines. 
Okay, why? Let me let me fly over here. Yeah, we're we're getting this. We're doing something. not necessarily what we want to do. That's not gonna work out, I don't think. Yeah, you're now swizzing that. I like the idea that we had. But it's not quite right. We need to We need to add Eddie still. Okay, so we can repeat that. What we are failing here is we don't we don't copy Copy X to file. I don't think. What we need to do is Swizz X to file. Fail jump through Z. And then we would Swizz based on where we're at. So we could still theoretically do what we did up here. No, because we need to do that. We still need this X registrar to work with this line. So this would not work. What I was thinking was if we could swizz it into the file in its position based on the X registrar. Then we could do it. Um, what is Right now, nothing. And where are you replayed at? Right here. So you could do that. Oh no, but you need that math. You're doing this math here. So yeah, that doesn't work at all. But yeah, that's a complete failure of an idea. If I could swizz it down into the file 
in its position. Uh, I could maybe save a couple lines, but it's not possible. They're both using their X registrar for something and therefore cannot use it for that. And so, we have to do something else. Another idea that I had somewhere. I'm sorry, I didn't say that very well. Um, we copy this into the X register. We come over here and then create this bot, just this part of it. And that could theoretically save us these two lines down the, down the road. But right now, these are all these guys are all communicating here in this area, and so we would have to switch the communication system, and that seems like it's going to cause some trouble as well. And it's only worth two lines, so not really, not really worth looking at it here. Okay, so I think uh, for the sixth time, I am completely at a loss here. I don't, I don't know what else I can do with this. Okay, <laughs> what, part seven, I guess? I don't know. Uh, just a couple things. The size is too low right now. And I want to just make a note of what I did. And then we're going to try doing what I tried last time, but differently. We'll see if it works. So, let's see. When XC, uh, here at markup, I had make and then seek negative 999. Uh, I think at some point I had the seek negative 99 under mark zero and we we're going to reuse it. Uh, but it got moved and it was unnecessary because we were always creating a new file and so there's no reason to see back to the beginning of a random file. So I just deleted that. That's simple. Um, there was also this code from end file down. All of this and there was also it was a kill and halt. So I was killing this bot and then halting my own action. By moving this, it was here between jump 2 and mark A. By moving it down here, I was able to get rid of the halt because now it hits the end of the code. And the other, the replicant that's working on this letter side, uh, once it links into the internet, it's like unknown host and it dies. So I didn't, I didn't exactly know what would happen with that, but I tried it and it worked. So we lost this halt and so now we're down to 106. That is what it is. This is a copy that I was just honestly just sitting here. I, I read through both the well, not read not read completely through them, but I looked through both of the zines that came with the game. I didn't find anything that helped. So yeah, really, I'm just going. I I sat here and I just looked through all the code, trying to find things that weren't necessary, and I didn't really find anything 
super useful, but uh, I, I do want to continue to try uh, the last idea I had. I, I feel like there's something there, I just need to... I need to find it. And so what we're going to do, we're going to grab the file and you're going to copy file to M. And that's it, I think. You're going to copy the file to M and then just jump to A. I think that's all I want you to do. And that's that's where I was finding all this extra code according to the idea that I had. Now, that jumped me down by 12 lines, which is pretty significant considering what I need here. Uh, but I need to add some more up here. So, we're going to make this, and then we're going to... We're also going to lose some stuff here. So we make ourselves a folder. M to F. I think we need the no op here. So, but first we need to do some other stuff. So, copy 30 to X, mark 9. Otherwise, sub e x one x test x equals zero fail jump nine. Okay. If that's true, if x does equal zero, then you're gonna create a new box. You're gonna mode out, create a new box. all this stuff, I suppose. I'm not exactly sure right now. But um, if you fail jump double Z, what, what else are you doing? You're going to, are you still going to create a self, yourself a bot? Probably yes. So you don't really need this right now. Right? Maybe we do. Maybe we do need this right now.
copy that in, subtract, equal to zero. Let's true jump down to eight. Otherwise, test MRD. True jump nine. Otherwise, mark eight here. Oh God, look at the size. Look at the size. This isn't this isn't working right now. What? What? No. What? Dudes. Dudes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Um. What? Um, this is an interesting place. What are wares? Um, it means illegal downloads of software? Okay, sure. Oh, no wonder it's so possible. We'll be able to spread easily from here. I still can't see the limits and so on the internet. But if they really hooked up all their computers to each other the way it looks like they have, I predict we'll have a very fun time. Let's see how far we can go. And there's the final check mark. We fucking did it, boys. Holy shit. Okay, so, um, <sighs> it's, it's, it's very entertaining to me that I said this doesn't work yet, and then it did. <laughs> I find that hilarious. Okay, this doesn't work yet, and then it just did. Um, why does it work? I, I, I want to figure out exactly why this works, because it doesn't feel like it should. If it's ready to go... Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter how many... Send this is only sending stuff out. So it's going to just kill itself when it runs out of a file. It's going to just kill itself. This thing will, will stop if it gets to zero, which means 30 units. It'll true jump to eight, which is where it switches to global mode, creates a replica of itself, and starts that whole process. I have a true jump up somewhere in here. Or a fail jump up. Somewhere. Somewhere in here. True jump up. So you switch, yeah, you switch back to local mode, delete your folder, your file, and te test if this guy's still trying to send out a signal on the local network. If he is, we true jump up. Okay, th that's what I was looking for. I was thinking I needed to add this, but it's already here in the code. Yeah, I, I, w I was, when I said this doesn't work yet, what I was thinking in my head was that I needed to add this. Uh, this whole thing, really. This mode, the whole, the mode. I need to switch back to local and see if he's still running. But it was already there. So that's why it works. Uh, I'm going to do just, you know, for old time's sake, we're going to do a talk through on this. Uh, because we fucking did it, boys. And this is awesome. I'm so happy. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually do a confession here. Um, for the first time in Exapunks, so since I started this game, for the first time I was actually frustrated enough that 
I tried to look up a hint for this puzzle. Uh, before before I read through the zines, or maybe after, I, I said at the beginning of this piece that I read through the zines and then poured over this code. Either before I looked at the zines or after looking at the zines, but before pouring over the code, I actually you know Googled the name of this puzzle and Exapunks and tried to find a hint for this, but I couldn't find it. I, I don't, I, you know, maybe I didn't look hard enough, maybe... I don't know, I, I don't know, but I couldn't find anything. I, I looked it up, I was trying to see if there was something I was missing. So I think it was before I looked through the zines. I think I was looking for the answer to is, is there a command in the zine that does what I need here and I'm not remembering it? And I think I looked up that hint, but I could, like I said, I couldn't find anything. And I didn't look up any videos or anything. I just looked, just Google, you know, this puzzle, trying to find help. I couldn't find it. And so I went back and I did this. And I found those two lines in the code I was able to take down. I said, okay, if this is what we're doing, you know, I need to start recording again because I don't want to, I don't want to just come back after a cut and say, got it, you know, that, that wasn't cool. So uh, I started recording, I explained the two lines I took out, I explained that I wanted to try doing this again, and I did it, like I genuinely, I genuinely did this, and that's a pretty awesome feeling, to, to be so frustrated by it that I looked for help couldn't find it, and so that put me at a a really bad spot because I was thinking that I might never finish this. I can't, I can't find any hints on this, and I've exhausted everything I know and have not found the solution. Uh, and so that you know that, that felt pretty bad, but. You know, I, I said, I, I still have this idea, I still think this idea could be something. And I, I think the inspiration of it was I saw that uh, XB was sending, sending a zero each time. And it's like, you, do you need to be doing that? Can we just test MRD? And that was my inspiration for going back and trying that last idea again. And so that... You know, that's that's where we started the video, and here we are now. Uh, one thing I did when I looked up the when I tried to look up the computer the uh, sol the, not the solution I tried to look up a hint towards the solution. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have wanted the whole solution. I just wanted help. Uh, when I tried to look that up, what I did find was somebody talking about these couple guys. I didn't, I haven't touched contrast yet, but I did see that I could copy uh, this, and that happens. <laughs> I did find that, so that's cool, <laughs> but, uh, but that's all I found. That's, that's all I found, and came back and you saw what happened. So let's do a top here. First and foremost, XA is going to grab file 300, copy the website that we're trying to upload to into the X registrar where we can continuously use it. And we'll just delete that folder because we don't need it anymore. We could just drop it, but might as well wipe it. Jump over here to where the folder for. Uh, IP addresses for websites is, let me show you this folder, here's the website, there's their IP, here's the website, there's their IP. So we grab that folder and we search for the website we're looking for, copy that website's IP into our X registrar, and at that point, and you can see, we grab, we grab the new folder, test if it's equal to X, if it isn't, test if it's equal to X, if it is, copy it into our X registrar. And at that point, we copy our X to, lo to the local network 
and then once somebody reads it, we jump up and do that again. And just in per perpetuity, we just keep sending that out on a local network for somebody to find and, and use. Uh, XB is going to pick up 301 and just send out the information. That is it, and that was the solution here. XB needs to be dumb, and I think I said that a couple of hours ago. If we can take out the intelligence of these bots, that'll save us some lives, but I, I couldn't make it work until just now, so that's pretty cool. And and now we get to the, the meat of this. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. So 83 lines on this XC is the meat of this solution. So first things first, XC will create his own folder, copy 30 to its X, because we at most want to take 30 values from what XB is sending out. We're all in local now. XC will copy a value to the folder, subtract one, see if we've done 30. If we have done 30, we will jump down to 8. If we have not done 30, we will see if XB is still sending out a signal. If she is still sending out a signal, then we'll jump up and copy the new value and see if we've done it 30 times. Once we have either done it 30 times or XB has reached the end of her file, we drop down into Mark 8 where we switch to global so that we don't interfere with XB anymore, or XB doesn't interfere with us, rather. Switch to global, create a replicant of ourselves, and then put one into our X registrar. Uh, we go back to the beginning of our file while the replicant makes its own file and clears its X registrar. That needs to happen. That looks like something I could have taken out, but oh, I, I couldn't. The, the, the truth of the matter is I couldn't take that out because we don't know what our X is going to be and we inherit the X from the father. So that needed to happen. So once here, we're going to tell this new replicant that a value is coming. So we copy the Z over and then swizz the, the number from the file to the X to the M. Okay? That's confusing, but if you watch this whole video, I think you understand it by now. Uh, we, take, we take the value that's in our folder, which we'll say is 6268. We will use what's in our X, which is either going to be a 1, 2, or 3, or 4. It starts at 1, so when we swizz, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So with the X being 8, we'll take this value. So we're going to swizz this value by X. So we're taking this, taking only the 1 that's in our X, which would be the 8, and then sending it to M. So we are sending an 8 to M. And then, are we at the end of the file? If we are not, we're going to jump up, do it again. We're sending you something else. Do, 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 do. And once we get to the end of the file, we will add one to our X, see if we're at five yet. If we're not, we're going to tell the bot, we're going to send a one to the bot, and jump back up to two, where we go back to the beginning of our file. Replicant, what are you doing? Test with equals Z. If it's not, then we copy what we have in our X to the file and just see. We just test MRD. Is he sending out a new signal? And if he does, we copy. We clear out our X again and jump to the That makes sense. We could. 
And we could put another mark in here so that we can reuse this line, but that mark itself is a line. So this is, this makes sense what we're doing. And then we jump up to B and get the next value. And the next value is going to be X equals 2 on this guy. So he's going to be sending that 10th digit instead of the first digit. And they repeat that so that we get all four digits independently. And eventually we get to 5 on the X, which allows us to start the new stuff. And the new stuff is going to be, go back to the beginning, you're, you're copying your results in the file and all we need is the right mode to value because what they want is each digit once it gets to 10 you round it over <clears throat> so 6 plus 9 you need a 5 so each digit going to the furthest right that process is obviously happening automatically so for each digit, we just need the furthest right value of what we copied in the file. So we swizz the value from the file, the rightmost digit into X, and then the tenth digit into T, add those together. Now we have whatever it is uh, together in X. And then we swizz the hundredth digit into T, add those together, now we have three of the four. And then finally, we switch the thousand to the T and together. And now we have the full value, the full number of the checksum in X. We will jump over to here and here, go back to the beginning of our file, and now we're going to start creating what they actually need. So we copy the adder, which is our, our IP address. We switch over to local mode, copy the IP address that XA is sending us. Swizz our X negative 4321. So just adding a negative line to it, but also putting it into file at the same moment. Switching back to global, so we can talk back to this guy again. Test fits equal to zero. If it is, we will jump down here. Otherwise, uh, we're going to copy it in. So this time XC equal to 5 true jump and file and file says copy 1 to M. Is that necessary? That's interesting. I wonder why that's there. I don't understand this line. Test the timing equals zero. Fail jump to F, otherwise copy this in and jump to E. Test the timing equals zero. So if it doesn't equal zero, we continue. So why? I don't, I don't understand this. So you get to five. You're copying one to M. You would be the one. That's about M to C. It'll jump to C. Copy X to file. It's MRD. It'll jump D. Swizz all this stuff. So you take you take that one away with this with that test, and then you go back to the beginning and you nope nope. That nope nope might not be necessary anymore. I'll check that. Copy X to file.
sales MD. It's half. So you failed. So how did that? What the fuck? I don't understand what's happening here. It's a good thing I did this talk through. I don't, I don't even know what this. I don't even understand this stuff. So this is where we are. You're on five. So you jumped to the end file. You. jumped up to B at some point. So you've copied Okay, you have this value. You just finished that. So you've added this stuff. Jumped up to B. You're looking for a zero. Okay, so where's that other one that we send out? That's the question. So you send out the one either way. So you could copy one. You could copy one here, then do the addition. Your true jump five end of file. Otherwise jump two. Right? I'm gonna try that. Let's do this switch. Let's put the copy one up here. True jump end of file, otherwise jump two. And then at end of file, let's get rid of this. Still work? No, that doesn't work. Because he's stuck on this copy zero to M. So crazy to me. <laughs> I really don't. Oh my goodness. Otherwise, copy one to M and jump two. Oh, you jump two. Well, yeah, that's what we did anyway. What the fuck? Either way, we're. If we get past this, either way we're copying this one. So why why didn't that work? Oh, I don't understand at all. I'm also gonna try those notes. I said I would give it a shot. Let's see. I don't I don't quite understand why we need those. That doesn't work either. So right here. Unbelievable. So yeah, once you get the five, you just copy your things into the file and you leave. And I don't know, if this guy goes and kills that guy, I don't fucking know. I, this is crazy that I don't understand this. I made this thing work, but I can't even explain it. That is ludicrous. Where, where, where is... Why am I so frustrated by this? Come here. Give me another copy. Explain explain yourself. Here. Copy one out. Okay. Get rid of this. Copy one down. Right there. Jump to end file. Copy one down. Okay. 
So get rid of that. Is it because of the note thing? No, you're stuck. You're stuck on copy zero to M. You have this. How? Where'd you get stuck? There. You just died. At like 400 cycles. Roughly. So where's your end of file? This is your end of file. You copy that over. You send the zero. Swizz that value. That's your end of file. Test end of file. That was the end of file. So now you're going to copy one to M. Add one. Test is five. It's not. Jump up to two. Go back to the beginning. Now you're going to copy zero. And he dies. At 370, your replicant dies because of the change we made. So, replicant. Oh, look. It, it wasn't ready? Is that the reason? Copy X to file, and test MRD. You're still on true jump. And so you think it's over. You jump to here and start messing around and kill yourself. That's the reason. So we didn't actually we didn't actually need those two lines, but the timing worked out so that we needed them. Okay, I can live with that. Uh, so we copy you know we copy the one to, F, to M here, and then we throw it in noop and. It still doesn't work, so fuck you guys, you know? <sighs> Thank you all for sticking with me. I don't exactly know how long this one's going to be. It is on my end. Seven parts long. Uh, I can kind of look... I see uh, no I can't I already determined that I can't see how long this stuff adds adds up to so uh, yeah I don't know how long this is gonna be but I know that I, I averaged about 40 minutes for the main the last several parts so and this one's actually got up there too even though I had it solved in about 11 I've been trying to understand it for the last 24 and I still don't quite so Maybe I'll cut all that out and maybe keep this short. But the truth of the matter is I'm done. <laughs> I finished this game. I don't I don't necessarily have a challenge mode in mind for this one before. Opus Magnum I had some challenges in mind. I did the single arm challenge on the channel. I have another challenge in mind, but I'm probably never gonna do it. And So, that means that I am completely done with this. I have... I have done it, you know. I, I did have, like I said, I had the moment of weakness where I searched for a hint. But I am uh, truthfully very glad that I didn't find it. Because even though I don't understand what I did exactly... Yeah, I, I guess I do. I mean, my, my confusion was that I thought I had to add something that was already in the code. So, I guess I understand what I did, but I don't understand those two brake systems. 
I know I added those two no ops for a reason. I've forgotten what that reason is, and I, I can't quite see the reason anymore. I could probably parse it out if I looked through it a little bit closer, but I don't want to. So I am going to thank you all so very much for watching, and hopefully I will see you soon.